Hello everyone, The CD Spin here, back with another album review. Guys, before I start this review, I just want to say thank you for 100 subscribers. It's only really been four months, and I really didn't expect to hit this milestone, even if it is quite small, um, this quick. Since on my second channel, um, it took a lot of hard work um, to even hit like 50. Um, but I'm glad that you guys subscribe and you guys tune into all these videos. Um, even though I don't post as regularly as I wish I could, I know, school. Um, but, uh, let's get onto the review. Kanye West, whom I obviously don't need to introduce, is back with another album since 2019's Gospel Jesus-influenced album. Um, trust me, that comes back. Uh, Jesus is King, which I honestly found pretty disappointing as an album. Um, and that's me being completely honest since Kanye is one of my favorite artists ever. Um, uh, but now Kanye after so, 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 so much hype, um, and Mercedes-Benz stadiums, um, he's back with another album, and, um, if you guys want me to talk about this album's, uh, cycle, that's a separate video, okay? I don't even want to get into that. But now Kanye is here to deliver us, uh, Donda, uh, named after his late mother, uh, with a black album cover, which, um, does not look at all uh, similar to what was teased, um, but it's fine. It's probably some deeper meaning. Um, and this album is two hours long, so something tells me this review is gonna be quite long. This album technically starts with Donda Chant, which is this short random track that consists of uh, just a voice that keeps repeating the word Donda. Um, but the first actual song is Jail, featuring Jay-Z, actually. The track begins quite epically. There's this dun dun that keeps repeating at the beginning. Um, which I think really adds to the song's overall atmosphere. And there are also these loud banging drums at the end that I enjoy, and Kanye West's vocals um, have really cool production to them. Um, the album as a whole has really cool and good production. Comparing this album opener to, let's say, Dark Fantasy off of My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, it's definitely a lot less grand opener, um, but it works well as an overall vibe and song. And then the second track, God Breathe, is a song that I think is cool, even though I think it maybe drags on a bit too much. The bass has this warble and is really, really deep, and all the songs really just add to the vibe, and one thing I've noticed on this album is that some of the tracks feel unfinished, which, you know, makes sense because um, Kanye was saying on Instagram that um, this album wasn't released with his consent. Um, I don't know if that's true or just, like, attention seeking but um you know if if it isn't if it is true then that isn't really a surprise because some of these tracks just don't really sound complete off the grid is the next track and upon seeing it was another long track i was uh disappointed because i thought it would just drag on like the last track but now i realize it's a very very cool track the beats are incredible and the features from fivio foreign and playboy cardi are actually really great this right here is the kanye i was hoping for on this album uh, to be honest, it reminds me of something that would be on My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, but in a more modernized setting. It goes hard, is all I'm saying. Next is the song Hurricane, and Kanye is going two for two here, um, because I really like this song. It has um, a really cool sound, just like the last track, and the production is just kind of luscious and uh, really grand and great. And uh, Lil Baby and The Weeknd make some good, good features. I feel like it's a lot more forward-thinking than the last track, which isn't to say that I like it more than the last track. I'd actually say that I like Off The Grid more. Um, but there are more parts of the song that feel like it has structure to it. And then the next song, Praise God, actually starts off with a sample from one of the speeches of Kanye's mother, Donda West. This speech was actually the 17th Gwendolyn Brooks Writers Conference. And this track is definitely one of the better songs off the album, if not, like... I guess the one of the best, if I can even say that. And it can get repetitive, but the features of Travis Scott and Baby Keem are pretty good. And then Jonah is a smoother, not as hard-hitting song, um, but it's also quite repetitive. Overall, not really a track that I'm going to listen to again, aside from the context of the full album, obviously. And then is another one, OK OK and Junior, which I pretty much say the same thing for. Uh, they're just kind of repetitive to me, and I think they sound kind of unfinished. And then Believe What I Say is actually a fun song that's fairly enjoyable. And then 24 is a kind of middling song for me. And am I the only one who noticed that these tracks actually sound unfinished? Like, I've, I know I've already mentioned that a few times, but I just want to say that a few tracks just 
feel a little bit unpolished. And look, none of it sounds bad, uh, but it's all just a little bit too messy. Remote Control is the next song, and this one is kind of special. Obviously, at this point, uh, you probably know, uh, because one of the features is infamously the glob glob gob glob. Only Kanye could and would do that. But besides that funny fact, uh, the song itself is pretty alright, it's not bad, um, it just doesn't strike me as a very interesting song, but hey, now there's a new piece to the ever-expanding Kanye lore. And then the song Moon is pretty good, I like the instrumental, and it's quite smooth. And then Heaven and Hell is the 14th track, and it's a song that goes pretty hard. It includes a J-Lo sample, and if I'm not wrong, the whole track is just Kanye, no features. It's a pretty short bit, but I really love the thunderous production to it. Then next is the title track, which is Donda, obviously. It includes another sample from a speech of his mother, and it also includes more auto-tuned vocals, which have been pretty commonplace on this record. And I love that second leg of the track with the chanting vocals, and the piano is great, and the instrumental in the song is just pretty good. And then the song Keep My Spirit Alive is a song that I enjoy, and it features KC, West Side Gun, and Conway the Machine, which um, all their features are pretty damn good. And the drums sound a little hollow, but I kind of enjoy that about it. Uh, the instrumentation is pretty clean too. Again, about the features, they're pretty much all good on this album. I haven't really heard any bad features on this record. And then my favorite track, uh, Jesus Lord, starts off in a quite eerie way um, before transitioning into this nice, I guess, R&B type instrumental, and it all sounds pretty grand and good. And the lyrics are pretty emotional. Um, Kanye talks about his mother's passing, which is just a really sad um, and really uh, lyrically dense moment on this record, and the production is still great too. I feel like a lot of this song is honestly what I was hoping for on this record, and I also love the J Electronica feature a lot, in fact. This is just the emotional climax of this album that we really needed. And then New It Again and Tell All the Visions are pretty full of sick production, but they're not super standout tracks, to me at least. However, the song Lord I Need You is a very nice mellow track and it's lyrically filled with emotion just like um, Jesus Lord with Ye talking about his marriage and I haven't talked about the religious aspects on this record, but they are extremely prevalent. I mean, just take one look at the track list, come on. And then Come to Life is one of my favorite tracks. Everything about it is lush, beautiful, and well executed. I love the part that picks up kind of in the second half and the pianos are really nice and everything is just grand and beautiful. and. Yeah, I love Come to Life. And then another great, great song is No Child Left Behind, which is another song that just feels super high quality. Um, and that's one thing that I've always loved about Kanye's music. It all feels very high quality and just great and very pristine. I guess that's just what makes Kanye stand out so much. Uh, these beautiful instrumentals, amazing lyrics, and everything about it is just so great. Yeah, I also love the song No Child Left Behind, and it's just a great part of this album, and sounds great. I feel like I need to mention it again, but the production is just really bassy and beautiful, and I really see why Kanye uh, spent so much time in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium uh, producing this song, because it really needed to be produced to sound this good. And then next is Jail Part 2, OK OK Part 2, and Junior Part 2, and also Jesus Lord Part 2, and I'm not gonna talk about these songs because I feel like they're pretty much identical to their first songs, uh, their original songs on this album, so I just really don't need to talk about them. But yeah, Donda, 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 Donda. There are so many amazing moments on this album, and there are also a lot of weird moments that I think are among Kanye's worst, and also the track list and runtime run is obviously just a bit too long. But I also feel like much of the production, features, instrumentals, and lyrics are top tier Kanye. So was Donda worth the wait? Yes, obviously, alright? Any Kanye album would have been worth the wait unless he posted a one second sound clip. So I'm feeling a decent to strong 7 out of 10. Um, if you guys enjoyed this review, please consider giving it a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, I will see you all later. Peace.